Hello students, I hope you all are preparing well for the upcoming CUET exam that is scheduled to be held in March 2024 and we at AgriVision for you are here with the previous year questions just to help you to make you aware about the process and the flow in which the questions are being asked in the exam, the pattern and the important topics that can be asked in exam. And uh, if you have not watched the previous videos, you just watched them also and this is the part five in which we'll be discussing the next eight questions which are asked in CUET 2020. I am Devyanshu Gupta, your mentor for MSc Food Science and Technology. Then coming straight away to the first question, which of the following is an example of nitrogen? Sorry, wait, cut, cut. Coming straight away to the first question, which of the following is an example of intelligent packaging? So nitrogen flushing in package is not, it is some it is example of your map, then ethylene scavengers in packaging. It is your active packaging, essential oil impregnated package. This is also part of your active packaging. pH indicator patch on package. That means it will be continuously reacting with the compounds which is present inside the package. And then in the real time, it will be showing you the condition of the food which is inside this. So this is a very good example of your intelligent packaging. So pH indicator patch on package is the best option for this question. This question was asked in CUT 2022. Coming to the next question, we have which of the following proteins present in egg has the antibacterial activity? So this is a very easy question and also the people from I guess uh, plus uh, plus 12 will be uh, plus 2 will be also aware about this question. So lysozyme is the uh, main compound which is responsible for uh, main protein which is responsible for an antibacterial activity inside your egg and it is also found in your egg. So we discuss this topic when we're discussing about your egg composition and uh, nutrition factors. So this question was also asked in CUT 2022. Then which of the following evaporators is considered to be the most appropriate for highly viscous foods? So they have specifically asked for highly viscous foods. So the problem with highly viscous foods is that if the uh, exposure time is more, then they will start to burn and there will be textural and flavor changes inside those foods. So in them, we need to have the continuous agitation and that makes uh, the difference for the evaporator, which is being used for highly viscous foods. So agitated thin film evaporator is the best one which is used for your highly viscous foods. This we discussed when we were discussing about the uh, food plant equipments in your uh, food engineering section. So this was also asked in CUT 2022. You can expect these type of questions not only in CUT but for any entrance exam which is having food science as the syllabus because these are some uh, from the very basic concepts from your food technology. Then the most abundant protein present in egg white is this. I guess I told you in the class also that this is a very important question. And see, this uh, question came in 2022 also. So, ovalbumin is the most abundant protein found in egg white. Then, coming to the next question, which fraction of starch is responsible for the blue color with iodine? So, we all know the starch has two components that is amylose and amylopectin. Amylose is the linear chain and amylopectin are the branch chain. So amylose is responsible for the blue color. It reacts with iodine and forms a blue black complex. And that is why amylose is the portion of your starch, which gives the blue color on reaction with iodine. Iodine test is very commonly being used to identify the presence of and to detect the presence of stars in a particular sample. And even in your adulteration test also, it is being very commonly being used. So this question was asked in CUT 2022. Coming to the next question, with have is first essential amino acid that is limiting essential amino acid in cereals is that is your lysine. I told you that the pulses are rich in lysine, but the cereals are limiting essential amino acid. Cereals are lacking in lysine. That is why it is always advised to couple your cereals with your pulses and that will be giving you a complete amino acid profile. So this question was also asked in CUT 2022. And if you are having confusion whether to where from uh, like from how to study for the exam because you all have a very less time and not even uh, less than one month is left for the exam. So I will request you all to join our crash course in that will in that course. We will be having a deeper insight on almost all of the important topics and some of the important questions which were asked and can be asked in your upcoming exam. So that will be a very beneficial for you all. Then which of the following method is considered as the newest method for commercial tenderization of meat? So tenderization we covered when we were discussing about the meat products and in your animal products technology. 
so salting is one of the oldest method aging is also the most traditional and the primary method then application of enzymes came out as the very good method and it uh, showed very appreciable results by using your bromelain pepin and ficin enzyme which are extracted from papaya and figs and pineapple then electrical stimulation right now is being used in industries as a very commercial and new method for the tenderization of your meat so this is the most optimum answer for this question this was also asked in cvt 2022 then coming to the next question the bloom of unprocessed meat is due to so see when we discussed about your animal products in your uh, meat when we were discussing i told you that meat when it will uh, have enough amount of o2 it will uh, the myoglobin will uh, uh, convert into oxymyoglobin that is your red in color that is pinkish red in color but when it will be having a limited amount of o2 it will be forming a purplish color and then it will be having a no uh, o2 then it will be forming some bluish colors that is not advisable and that is not uh, even considered good by the customers and that is why you have to package your product properly so they are asking about the bloom of unprocessed meat it is due to your oxy myoglobin so this is the answer for this question and uh, here we come to the end of the video so this was the next eight questions which we were uh, discussing uh, for your upcoming cuet exam previous year questions stay connected for part 6 if you have doubt in any of the topics which you are facing difficulty then you may uh, connect through us and i'll be very uh, happy to clear your doubts and if you have any doubt in any of the questions and you want further guidance you may comment your uh, contact and we'll contact you surely for that thank you all